I'm going to show you the changes that I've made to the jewel hat. Now this is the 100% crochet version and the changes that we've made are in the brim. So I've decided to do half double crochet rather than double because it creates a more dense fabric. It's still stretchy but you can't see as much uh, when you when you wear it when it's stretched over the head and something else I'm going to change are the decreases so the original decreases uh, were we did a bobble skip a stitch then do another bobble but I felt that it created too many gaps so we're going to try it this way instead so we're going to do a bobble stitch but we're going to incorporate it over two chain spaces so here's one here's two Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the first bobble, make it a little bit taller, and then work the rest of it in the next chain space. Okay, so it's combined. Now this one isn't perfect because it's part turn and chain, but I'll show you. Um, and then what we do is we go into the next chain space. Okay, and do half your bobble there and the rest of it in the next chain space. And pull through there, there we go. So you see it's, it's a bobble stitch over two chain spaces. Okay, I'll show you again. So one. And then two in here. Okay, and then pull through. There we go. So the, the gap is smaller now. I'll just show you it again. So chain two, make one. So it's one third of the stitch goes here in this first chain space. And then the other two thirds go in the next chain space and then you pull through all the loops chain two go into the next chain space so one third of it in here and the other two thirds in here pull through all four loops now I've described this in the pattern as work one bobble across two uh, chain spaces Okay, oh, forgot to chain two there, so chain two. Okay, so I've done the first part of the bobble in that first chain space. I'm going to do the other two parts of this bobble in the next chain space and pull through. Okay, so we do this the whole way round. So don't worry at this point when you get to the end of the round if you don't have the even amount of stitches that's going to happen at some point all we do here is we chain two and we slip into the next stitch now if if you got to the end of the round and there were two chain spaces just do a bobble stitch and then you'll reduce on the next round i'm going to work one row even now Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of that round. I'm going to chain two and just slip into the top of that first bobble. So you'll see uh, the hat is starting to uh, decrease. And, well, there's it doesn't look like I've done any decreases. Um, so onto the second row round of decreases. Uh, and... We'll, we'll do the same thing again. So split across two chains, chain spaces, sorry. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. It will blend in. Chain two. Okay, and go in again. So there's the first part. There's the second part. And this is the third part. Pull through all four loops. Okay. And work your way around. So it's just getting that memorized. It's work 
the first part into one chain space and the second and third into the next chain space and then pull through all four loops and again chain two next chain space so as i said before that is in the pattern it will say um decrease across two chain spaces and this is what i'm asking for this is what i want you to do okay so first part second part third part pull through all four and you'll see it's getting really narrow now this is what we want and last one okay so we're at the end now um like i said before if you've if you've got to the first a decrease and there's another chain space there just put a bubble stitch in there it won't matter because we're going to do a drawstring finish anyway so i'm just going to slip to the top there okay and it's quite narrow now see that it's quite quite narrow just put it down so you can see okay so there's the top now at this point, let me put that away. At this point, it is up to you whether you think you want to do another decrease round or whether you want to have a go at the drawstring finish. And I will show you how to do that now. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, drawstring finish now. So cut yourself, you know, a, a decent few inches of yarn and make sure that you've fastened off, which I'm going to do here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get your needle threaded. Okay. Move that out of the way. So this is quite a small closure now, and all I do is I just thread through every other chain. Okay, loosely. Just thread through every other chain. Okay, turn it around. Nice and loose. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull. Ta da! See, drawstring finish, and then just fasten that off. Okay, and if we look at the hat now, you can see there's no there's no pointy end. It's just nice and round.